The bullet time effect that you all know and love has been around for a while and sometimes it's done with an array of multiple cameras. But what I've seen actually is that uh, the big studios are, have now moved to using a single high definition high speed camera and they just move it really fast uh, around whatever they need to do the effect on. It gives them a lot more flexibility and it ends up being cheaper uh, than just buying a whole lot of cameras or renting a whole lot of cameras. So I'm hoping to recreate that effect today for fairly cheap using a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. It films at 120 frames per second and if we can just move this around the object being filmed quick enough we should be able to get the bullet time effect. The key component in my version today is going to be a Lazy Susan because I'm going to do some close-up kind of product photography stuff being poured out of bottles, stuff like that. Okay, you saw how quick that was. We literally just took the Lazy Susan, attached this um, arm to the top of it, then screwed it down to a base plate. I could call this done. I could clamp the HD, uh, the uh, GoPro to the end of it and set it on a table and use a clamp to fasten this down to the table so it doesn't move and then I could spin it by hand from one side while holding the product in place or whatever. We could literally call this done. Uh, however, I'm a little bit worried about this all showing up in the frame so I'm going to add an attachment that holds the camera up about this tall that also allows me to adjust the distance out that the camera mounts. You can bolt on, I can tighten it down with a wing nut, I can move it closer and further from the center and mount the camera up here. I'm here by myself today. I don't have any helpers here. Uh, so, that means that some of this is gonna be a lot more difficult than it would typically be. I'm going to have to get my cup in place, spin this around, and pour while it's moving. The faster it's moving, the better. me but let's go ahead and do another couple takes uh, to make sure we've got it don't want to waste this okay got my beverage in place we are recording see that the timing's not right I wish I had somebody here to spin this for me or I could set up a bungee cable and a clamp, but that stops it from spinning all the way around. I don't have enough time to do it all during a half spin by myself here. We're recording. Ah, oh, it hit my shirt. I think we got it though. It only takes about a second, I mean, a half a second of footage to make it look cool. All right, let's check it out. I've literally just dropped this into the editing software and set the time to go down to 30 frames a second. Since we filmed at 120 frames per second, that gives us a pretty good ratio and things are already in slow motion. I haven't had to add any effects uh, or anything. Now as you can see, it looks pretty good, it's a little wiggly and my lighting could obviously be better. But it's not bad for how cheap it was and the fact that we only used one GoPro. I would definitely call this project a success. Uh, the resulting video was really cool looking. It's not what a professional studio would put out, but then again, I'm just a guy with a GoPro in my kitchen. Um, for more details, you can check out hackaday.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, too.